Hey boys and girls, it's Night Stalker here. Welcome along today to Dessau Fort Siege. Check it, check it out. Today we're bringing in again the Modau Battalion. Man, I cannot tell you, I cannot stress enough how much I absolutely love this unit. Finally, a heavy infantry unit that works. Yes. Anyway, we're going to take the Prefecture Archers as well because we want to shoot from the right-hand supply point down into the bowl of troops in the bottom and help our uh, people push on. And we're going to take some Berserkers who uh, really I'm, you're going to, I'm thinking I might use to help support the push up the siege towers and onto the wall. So that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. First thing I'm noticing, no enemy mauls, only two short swords, and they lack any real superpower front line, uh, you know, line breakers, things that can just smash through your line. So that's the mauls, the short swords, the glaives, all those things that can just dump a ton of damage or splash everyone out the way. Um, and we do not lack that at all. About a four million pikes though, that's going to be fun. I'm not too worried. Playing as a longsword, I don't have to worry too much about pikes. They aren't something that concerns longsword players too much, as anyone who plays longsword or pike probably already knows. Anyway, let's take our hammer bros, the Martellaluri, Natellaluri, and um, we'll throw them on the battering ram there. I quite like putting them on the battering ram. Um, because by the time they get it in, you don't just get the points for pushing in, but you also get the points for um, uh, destroying the gate as well. So we're going to take this culverin, which I should have started with, and we've sort of noticed that nobody's really on the ballistas, although we've got one now. But I like to put it on this spot here. And as long as you're not too worried about uh, being shot at by ballistas, which generally if you're a big meatball like me, you're not too worried, you can sort of have a bit of a chance and chance it out. Boom, one down. I'll just ignore him in favour of the cannon who's shooting my troops. Or I can shoot the guy in the face, whatever. Let's hope we don't get ballisted, he's not even looking at me, that's perfect. Whoops. Thanks RNG. Or maybe it was my bad shot, I don't know, I'll watch it back afterwards. Easy to PZ. Um, ballista's dead, how about this cannon here? Good place for a little cover and a eh? 1800 silver on the market for one of these or you can build it yourself out of resources if you're so inclined I wonder if I can lob over and hit the no there's no chance I can hit those watches um, I can take out the middle shooting thing there I wonder if I can shoot over here no nope. angles all wrong anyway we better take this thing out before my guys get in oh, that's too low damn it Oh no, the hammer bros are going to get hot. Hot dropped. Ooh. It seems I don't know what I'm doing. So last shot. Nice. All right. Um, we'll just wait till the hammer bros have uh, knocked down the front door. And then we'll go do some stuff. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, we'll take that now. Finish the job, maybe. Yeah. Hammer Bros weren't quite weren't quite enough of them. <laughs> Never mind. Enemy really focused them. Not to worry. Thirty leadership unit. Their whole purpose in life is to push the siege in and die a horrible, miserable death. Meanwhile, the woodcutters. They're going to get the job done. Everybody knows that woodcutters get the job done. The reason I'm putting them over there is I'm running sideways from the gate, so anyone charging out or shooting out of the gate, uh, I will not be in the line of fire as we retreat. Here we go. Let's get these zerks and we'll try and rush up this tower here. A few friendly casualties on that treb, which is perfectly fine. <laughs> Honestly, try not to treb your own units unless there's a good reason. So... I don't really want to send them in there, they'll die. But we can keep our troops alive in the meantime. And we're in. Lovely jubbly. What have we got there? Gun boys. Good thing we didn't die. Rather happy about that. What have we got going here? That's a very strange place for a trebuchet. Ooh, Imperial archers firing on us. we got going on here? Oops. 
My big fat fingers with a misclick. Never mind, there's some uh, Zerks behind there. We'll move ours straight onto the point so they're away from the fire arc of that absolutely outrageous amount of ranged troops. Um, we won't wander into those guys yet because there's a dirty great trebuchet about to fall on their heads. We'll just keep spamming uh, X so our guys don't run in. And when it's finished, we'll go poke them in the face. Lovely. Bring him back, a bit of a heal for everybody. Oh look, this guy's a little keen. We'll let the Berserkers do this. Usually you wouldn't throw them into Palace Guard like this, but hey, why not? There's so many of our team here that it really isn't going to make any difference. Those Bodkin arrows though, I'm a little bit scared of. They do good damage. So I think we're going to go left looking here. We've got plenty going right. So we'll go support the boys up here. There'll be three long swords in a mall. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> what are we giving Palace Guard, Berserkers, Shield Maidens, nice. And we should be able to bust through this fairly simply. What's this guy doing? Excuse me, would you mind lying down for me? And the reason I like the Paladin skill is just like that, I reduced his armor by 15%, which is a huge amount for a short sword. So even though the Paladin skill has been nerfed for the long sword, I still find it very useful for whacking those enemy long swords or enemy short swords. All right, we'll try and protect the flank of these guys. Oh, look, serfs. If only I'd bought berserkers. Never mind. Hello, serfs. We'll take the hit from the condo, so that's going to hurt. And then we become immune to their CC, and we start shredding the condos as well. Oh, that's outrageously disgusting. We didn't quite protect the flank of those palace guard, I regret. But we did our best. There's still one left. He's not dead yet. He is now. Alright, so we've got mowdowns, and we've got PGs. And they've got their entire freaking team just about. <laughs> oh, Falcon Ubis too. Can we drop a treb anywhere there? Not worth it. Ow. Man, we're going to get pushed hard. I'm use my ult just to get away. What are we bringing in? Imperials, Falcon Ubs, and Palace Guard. I wonder if they're going to push straight through us. No, no, not the time. They are going to push through us. Everything we've got here will die. Their push is far too strong. All right, the archers have come out. We'll drop it now. There's maybe five of our friendly guys still alive in there. Let's <laughs> see what. Oh, well, let's see what happens. <laughs> That was a 40-something kill, Trev. I love it. I, I'm sorry for the couple of cannon boys left alive in there and the couple of uh, PG, but we absolutely mangled the enemies advanced and killed two of their heroes on top of smashing all the rest of them. Oh, I enjoyed that. And nobody's upset. They're not spamming me in the chat. Oh, you killed my four guys. Yeah, well, they were dead anyway, weren't they? <laughs> there, was, there was absolutely nothing saving those guys that were still there. So we might as well get the... Ow. Get the pain in while we had the opportunity. Um, I'm fighting without a unit now, so things are going to get a bit messier. I want to get trapped here. If you're fighting stalwarts, jump over them, go around them. Don't hit the front of their shields, it's a waste of time. And they take extra, extra damage in the back being stalwarts. So that is the way to do it. Don't flail aimlessly. Alright, we'll jump on the roof of this tent so we'll block the use as a supply point, even if they can't reach us. Cavalry coming in, they'll miss me. Let's see what we can do on them. Oh, alt's on cooldown, never mind. Probably won't kill any now. One thing that most people don't know about the longsword, um, uh, the, the main skill, the kick at the end of it, will dismount people and it will stun horses. So you can actually dismount heroes and, and stop cavalry charges with that kick. If you somehow miraculously try to get... Oh, Cilladars! No, 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 no. Ah! Go away, Pike. Okay, we'll just... Excuse me. Nobody here but us longswords. Nobody here. Hopefully all these archers realise what's happening. They do. That's good. Because I'm not dying to save you guys. <laughs> Those are Cilladars. Blind Cilladars, but still Cilladars. 
All right. All righty then. They're not chasing us. That is very wise of them because that would have been the end of them. What's going on here? So the plan was to bring these guys and shoot from up here on the right supply point into the bowl. So let's do that. Let's see what sort of ridiculous carnage we can cause with these guys. I absolutely have come to love Prefecture Archers. I like them more than the Namcans. A lot more. So, taking B, huh? Wouldn't it be a shame if somebody shot you in the back? <laughs> dugga, 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 dugga. Look at those damage numbers. You do not get those with Namcans. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, some of the cavalry in there are going to get shot too. We've run out of time on the uh, arrow rain. That's a, that's a thing that happens. None left. Okay. Onwards. Onwards, mighty prefectures. Oh, hello there. I see some tier 5 ranged. Let's put that... Oh. Oh. So I tried to click on them, and a fractional move of the mouse meant I clicked on top of a pole. So we'll still sort of hit them-ish. Let's just put an arrow, right? not an arrow, rain, an attack area on them. Let's see what happens. I'll kill a few of them. They should all be dead. Unfortunately, I'm a spaz, so uh, it just happens. Um, do we keep them or should we take the mow down? So I think the answer is fairly obvious at this point if we're pushing on to C. So let's go. Don't mess with the Zohan. Uh, looks like we're just going to steamroll C. That's nice. I won't argue with that. Just a heal for our uh, grandpas at the front. Oh, noob. Newbie Falcon, Falcon Newbie Gunners, look at this. You can um, you can put the Falcon Newbies on the, the back supply point where they're surrounded on three and a half sides by uh, five meter high walls and you can shoot all around. You can shoot onto the supply point, you can shoot onto the onto the capture point, you can shoot onto the final two. It's just broken. God, I hate that unit. That unit requires absolutely no skill whatsoever. Anyway... Let's pick up my sad bags. Mm. Right, let's go. We're going to go around this way. I can see Grandpa's going. Are you not coming, Grandpa? I'll save you from Cav. Anybody? Why are they capping behind us? We're already pushing your final point. I mean, that's exactly what you should be doing. <laughs> Capturing supply points that are irrelevant now. That's perfect. Alright, so what we really need is somebody to trib. I did use mine, right? Right. Ooh, right, yeah. Um, somebody, thank you. Appreciate it. We'll just tank the range damage and when that hits when we'll take advantage of them being out of order just a little bit of patience take a little bit of damage but we'll be right and there we go timing is important so now we'll just casually delete this unit miss the hero though pikes are so nimble holy heck no no come back what the he's like one two three four Five, six units of tier 4, tier 5 ranged pointed at us. It's crazy. Can I get in here? No, I will die. Let's not and say we did. These Celadars are never getting out of here, so they might as well push in. Oh, Grandpa. Oh my god, they have so much ranged. But that's probably why we're capturing the final point. This might be it for them. Having this many ranged out at once gives you no flexibility to push onto or counter push. It looks like we might win it here and here. Here and here and now. Either way... If we don't, my plan is now to do some counter battery fire. So I'm going to take my prefectures and I'm going to try and take down all of their ranged units because they have about 4 billion of them. I'm not exaggerating in the slightest. That's exactly how many they have. So let's have a look. Some tier 4, tier 5 guns. I can't see which ones they are. They look like the tier 4 Imperials. 
but they won't be there for much longer. Why are we not killing them? They must have moved. Yeah, might have to reposition slightly. What else can we see? Let's have a look. I wonder if we can reach those longbows. Oh, hello guns. It's a great spot for you. Look, look, I'm right here. You, you can shoot me. Look, I'm very vulnerable, promise. No? What's going on? We're taking Imperial fire. I don't like that. Oh, and there's the new cannons. Let's roll this way, prefetchers. Let's, uh, let's show you how a real man uses real ranged. Let's go do some real stuff. And we'll target all of those massive amounts of range that the enemy hero have without ranged. This is a good spot here. I think we can probably shoot some of those crossies. Look at those little two units of crossbows there. And there's those Falcon newbies firing at us again. Yeah, we should... We should run out of ranged units over there pretty quick. Oops, he's not dead. He is, and you're lying down. Goodbye. Let's back off now. See where I placed my guys? Even between the, um, the, uh, the, what do you call it? Arrow reins, I can still target the point directly. But I think now those cavalry are coming, so we'll try and shoot them as much as possible as much damage to them as we can. Hopefully some of our melee units will finish them. Oh, that's a nice surprise. And we can shoot all of these horses in the back too. Right. Now what? This unit here? I can't quite see it. Let's devastate this unit. That looks like an expensive unit of bowmen. Why would you bring them up so close like that? I don't know. But they're gonna get trapped into that live anyway, so whatever. Oh, come back here. Oh, I missed him. Oh, you rat bag. Never mind. This is how you proper use range. None of this uh, this absolute pansy Falcon newbie stuff. By the way, I'm just being completely funny and harsh. If you want to use Falcon Eddie gunners, you go for it, my friends. They are a perfectly valid unit choice. Meanwhile, we'll just continue to kill any ranged unit that moves. I can see there's a hero pushing round to the supply point. Can you see him on the map? He won't last long. We've got a hero on him too, and as soon as he comes around the, the corner to those archers, those archers will absolutely pincushion him. Because there's one of our heroes there, that will take some of the heat off. As soon as he gets CC'd by that hero, he will die. It's an interesting place for a treb, but it looks like it's going to work. Nope, it's a terrible treb. <laughs> oh, look at all those ranged units at the back. Do you think we can get them? Do you think we can? So you can shoot with the, um, the arrow rain, you can shoot beyond the range of your circle. Watch this. Oh, that's so beautiful, isn't it? Sorry, I should probably pay attention to what's going on in the circle. I'm just so excited to see all of the tier 4 and tier 5 range units dying. All of these range spammers getting absolutely slaughtered by a unit of prefectures. We must be up to 60 or 70 kill unit kills with that prefecture, <laughs> that prefecture archers now. Anybody else need some arrows? Do you need some arrows? love it so much. This is going to get nasty. I didn't, oh, ow, that, what was that? That was yuck. Hmm, okay, can we get another arrow rain off? Oh, we're getting targeted. I don't know if we can, but I really want to bring out the mowdowns anyway, so we'll just go do that. Oh, somebody was trying to fight on the point with us. Well, he's going to get pincushioned to whoever he is because we just dropped an arrow rain. <laughs> Even a longsword. All right, here we go. And again, that highly skilled player using all of his uh, repertoire of abilities. Ow, ow. Cannonballing into our supply point, which is, of course, a completely reasonable thing to have happen. Um, I just want to sort of hold these guys here as much as I can and delay so that hopefully our team can push onto the point. 
Come on, guys. The long swords are holding here. Do your bit. Take the point. You can do it. Stupid pike. <laughs> no, don't tickle me with your little tickle stick. Ow, I've been minor inconvenienced. Uh oh, this is not going to work now. Three of them. <laughs> uh, yes. All right, come on, team. It's not happening, eh? I don't know if we've got enough time now. They're not taking the supply, though. Not that they need to, I guess. 37 seconds. Iron caps. It's good to see iron caps on the battlefield these days. They're kind of a fun wee unit, eh? Do you guys like iron caps? Tell me down in the comments. While we're watching the last 25 seconds play out, if you've got uh, an itchy thumb and you need something to do, you could bang the like button for me. It really helps with the algorithm, and hopefully I can bring you even more wonderful Conqueror's Blade content. No one wants to come and party with us? I don't blame them, to be perfectly fair, but that is a game over. GG. The enemy team pushed harder. And even despite their lack of frontline warriors, they certainly managed to make it work. Well done to the enemy team. Great job. So, uh, we got three of these. One for 83 as well on the prefecture. <laughs> That's great. All those tier 4 and tier 5 range units. More than 10 for each kill. Oh, and we're king of the losers. Fancy that. 305 participation. Brilliant. Only 70 deduction for friendly fire there for bombing those uh, remaining units up on top. Anyway, that was great fun. I'm totally going to publish this one. I hope you learned something new or you just enjoyed the battle. Thanks so much for coming to my channel. Oh.